anything they can get you to connect with of a high vibrational nature that will pull you out of the density of that darkness that you're unnecessarily incarcerating yourself within is the very reason why your angels are doing what they're doing for you. That's why all of a sudden memories just pop up out of nowhere in the hopes that you attach your energy to those memories and travel through those memories and go back to those times when you were little or whatever happened that made you just feel amazing, happy times, better times, easier days, things like that. Um, song lyrics are put in your head, thoughts of inspiration, jokes, something to make you laugh. All of a sudden, a joke will just pop in. And I say pop into your head, but it doesn't really work that way. These energies are placed in your sacred space, in your field of observable view, if you will, that you're imaging, not imagining or thinking about. But I'll just use head and pop in just to give you an example of what I'm trying to convey here in this video. But your angels will do everything they can to pull you out of that misery that you're putting yourself in, to raise your vibration, to be an equivalent of these experiences they're trying to offer you that you're blocking because of your unconscious societal programming mechanisms are causing you to be a low vibrational equivalent. And in doing so, you're trapping yourself in this, in this prison unnecessarily. And your angels are like knocking on the door. Listen, it doesn't have to be this way. We can get you out. Here's the key. Guess what? There is no key. There is no lock. There is no door. You're, you are in an invisible prison. These are, these are invisible chains. They don't exist. You're just creating these things, these barriers that are blocking you from receiving amazing gifts, celestial treasures, divine blessings, you know, cosmic offerings, whatever type of name you want to use. But that's why you have these inspirational thoughts that seem to just pop into your head out of nowhere. And this is the reason why they want to pull you out of that density. It's the same reason why you're just sitting around and all of a sudden you have this idea for an invention. You think that, oh, it just popped into my head out of nowhere, or I just came up with it while I was sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Come on, man. It was deliberately placed there by a higher conscious force in the hopes that you act upon it and do something with it, make your life easy. And in doing so, you will put yourself in an advantageous position that you can help others. That's why these things are being placed in your field of energy. It isn't just happening to get there by itself or pops in out of it just came to me out of nowhere I, I just don't know i just was sitting on the toilet and all of a sudden this complete song came into my head so i just recorded it and there it was you know no <laughs> no you know i just had this invention for this thing it just came to me it just i don't know where it came from i mean come on man you know but conversely the antithesis is spoken of the darkness they're going to put things in your field of energy and hope that you act upon them that are going to get you to destroy yourself or hurt others. That's why you hear voices in your head to tell you to do terrible things because you're actually hearing these inaudible voices telling you, whispering, you know, silently coercing you to try to get you to do terrible things. And that's the whole object of the darkness. The darkness has been granted perpetuity by God to play its nefarious games on the physical mind, the mortal comprehension. And it does it very well because when you say evil, you say God. When you say darkness, you say God. When you say malevolence, you say God. And that's exactly what you're dealing with. There isn't a devil or demons or Satan trying to take you down. It isn't working that way. It's source trying to get you to build yourself up if you can consciously realize what's actually going on. That's the truth. There's no demons out to get you. The darkness isn't your enemy. This isn't spiritual warfare. You know, there are no opponents. There's no existential threat outside your door. There's no invisible boogeyman out there. That's all fear-based. That's fear-mongering. That's how they control you with fear. What's actually happening is God loves you so much. When I say God, I mean genesis of destiny, God, source, nothing to do with religion. I'm just using a name that you can understand and identify with. Unfortunately, the name God and Jesus are synonymous with religion, and that is a tragedy. But I've already done another video on that. But what I'm trying to say is that God loves you so much to say, I'm going to put you through tests and trials and tribulations and crucibles to filter out everything that's holding you back, to become the person I need you to be, to fulfill the obligations and commitments that you have to fulfill on this earth. That's why you're here. You're not here to chill out. You're not here to do what you want to do. You're here for what God put you here to do, whether you realize that or not. So that's why you get these things. When your angels send you guidance and support, directions, wisdom, inspiration, they send it and they place it in your field of energy. Things aren't just popping into your head. I was on the toilet and it just, just popped right into my head. I can't believe it. I just, I just, it was amazing. It was just there, the whole thing complete. I came up with it myself. <laughs> Come on, man. 
You know, it's just it's ludicrous and absurd to think that. You know, absolutely just nonsense. But, you know, uh, in parting with this video, I just want to leave you with the fact that you are loved unconditionally by God, by all of them. Your, your angels, loved ones who have crossed over, who are safe and at peace with God, they all love you, man. They all love you. They love you that much that they're not going to give up on you, even if you've given up on yourself. That's unconditional love. So, I mean, do with this what you may, because whatever you're, you're getting from these videos is what you're putting into it. So see it as a gift from the universe through me to you, from my heart to yours. That's exactly the whole premise of my channel. That's why I say I don't make my channel about me. I make it about the message, not the messenger. But anyway, peace, light, love, happiness, and have a blessed day, my friend. God bless.